I'd love to tell y'all it was a great game. I'd love to tell you, you know, to sit here and talk about the Golden State Warriors because they were the superior team. Steph Curry put on the show. He was absolutely dynamic. 7 to 15 from three point range to make up for that one for 10 shooting from three point range in game three. We saw Kevin Durant record a triple double. I didn't mind who got the MVP. I thought both of them made a case for it. Both of them showed up for three games, didn't show up for one game. We get all of that, and I understand it. If it had been a co-MVP, wouldn't have had a problem with that. Kevin Durant gets the MVP, didn't have a problem with that. Had Steph Curry got it, wouldn't have had a problem with that. But just to put things in this perspective, this was such a blowout, such an annihilation, such a trouncing that Kevin Durant spent practically the entire second half to me trying to give the MVP award to Steph Curry. Feeding him, letting him shoot the ball, not looking for his shot, not looking to exploit and take advantage of every mismatch that he was presented with. And you know something? It still didn't work. They still gave him the MVP because he put forth a triple-double. But to me, like I said, Major, major props to the Golden State Warriors. They deserve all the credit in the world. They're the superior team. They got superstars on there. They've won three of the last four titles. More props to them. What I walk away from tonight, however, is how horrible the Cleveland Cavaliers look. They quit. They quit. I'm not dissing LeBron. I don't want to hear no more comparisons, though. Not like this. You don't go down like this. Now, he gave some effort, but then ultimately, he gave up. And when he gave up, the rest of the team followed. And it was that bad. You had to be here, you had to see this to believe it. They got their butts kicked, period. They got taken to school, period. Back door cuts, wide open, three-pointers surrendered, open layups, looking like a layup line, like you're playing horse in a park or something. There was no effort here. It was a sad, sad ending to this season. When you talk about an NBA Finals, you don't expect it to end like this. You don't expect the team to go out like that. The Cleveland Cavaliers tonight in Game 4 of the NBA Finals went out like Toronto went out in Game 4 of the semifinal series right here on the same court against Cleveland. The effort was weak. It was whack. It was just embarrassing. It was a disgraceful effort. And I want y'all to think about this, and I want y'all to remember this, because when you see the way this team went out, make no mistake about it, LeBron can't just go to any team now. He's got to go to somebody that's got a legitimate, bona fide shot to beat the Golden State Warriors, because he's got to be tired of losing to this team. Who loses three times in four years to the same team, and they're not sick to their stomach over it? You gotta believe he is. You gotta believe he is. And so now we can speculate, and we got days and weeks to speculate before free agency hits and he decides what he's going to do. But at the end of the day, what it comes down to is that Cleveland embarrassed themselves tonight. They embarrassed the NBA. They embarrassed competitors across the sport because they got their butts whipped. They laid down. They laid down like a bunch of dogs. And I don't know how to explain that. I really don't. Losing, it comes with the territory. I totally, totally get that. But to lose like this was inexcusable. So, yes, props to Golden State. Golden State balled out. They did what they were supposed to do. They did what they were supposed to do in game one. They didn't lose, you know, Cleveland didn't lose like this. They did what they were supposed to do for the most part in game three. They didn't lose, Cleveland didn't lose like this. All of a sudden, it's game four, it's the closeout. Don't tell me you didn't plan your vacation. Don't tell me you didn't kill me on the court tonight and said, ain't no way in hell I'm interested in going all the way back to the Oracle just to lose to them in game five like we did last year. Don't tell me that wasn't on some of their minds because their effort showed that's exactly what was on their minds. I'm glad this season's over. I appreciate the Cleveland Cavaliers not asking me or anybody else to waste our time flying from Cleveland with connecting flights to San Francisco or Oakland just to see this kind of nonsense. The effort was bad. It was embarrassing. And I'm just sad that this is going to be the last memory of LeBron James in the Cleveland Cavaliers uniform. Unless a miracle happens and he decides to come back and try to make up for this, I just don't see it, though. I just don't see it. He wasn't the biggest coach. Of course, he carried this team on his back. He might have been exhausted. I give him all of that. I give him all of that because LeBron James usually has no shortage of effort. But there were times tonight there were glaring shortages of effort on his part, too, especially on the defensive end of the floor. And it was just bad, ladies and gentlemen. It was just that bad. He ain't the biggest culprit. Oh, there were plenty of others. But we all know he's the only one on this team that matters. It's a damn shame it came down to this. It's a damn shame they went out like this. Props to Golden State. They deserve this. They were a the better team. They were a the better organization. They were a better, they had better players. But you know something else? 
They seem to care about one another, to love one another, and to want each other to succeed more so than Cleveland did too. And let's not ignore that. We can walk away choosing to celebrate that about Golden State, or choosing to be repulsed by what we saw by the Cleveland Cavaliers. Y'all pick it. I'm too damn disgusted to answer that question now. Talk to y'all later.